99 Larry Walker is on the team. This card is insane. Look at those numbers. Look at that contact and power with diamond fielding. This card is up there with Mickey Mantle as one of the best cards in the game. There's the lineup, and there he is. 99, Larry Walker, batting leadoff. Going to try to get as many at-bats as possible with him. We're going to be playing at Coors Field. we got Hal Newhauser on the mound, looking to get a win. 3-2 and two to Murphy. Up the middle and a base hit to get the game going. So Daniel Murphy is on. 3-1 and one to Torrey. Inside ball four. So the first two batters have reached here against Newhauser in the first, not the start I was looking for. 1-2 to Yelich. Got him swinging way out in front of the curveball. One down here. Here's DJ LeMahieu. He grounds one to the right side and threw for a base hit. And I ran right past the ball with Larry Walker. One run scores. Two runs are going to score. We're going to get the out at second. But I fall behind 2-0 early in the first. Boggs strikes out to end the first, but my opponent scores two on two hits. Ball four, so Larry Walker draws a four-pitch walk in his first at-bat. Mantle rips one on a hop to second. Feed short one, back to first, double play, side retired. Reyes chops one to third. Sheffield across the diamond to end the inning. Nice one, two, three for Newhouser as he settles in. After a rough first, we trail 2-0 going to the bottom of the second. Ortiz rips one through the right side for a base hit. We debuted Ortiz in the last video. Go watch it. There's going to be a card popping up in the top right of the screen right now. Go watch it. Sheffield off the end of the bat into left. One down in the second. Sandberg drives one. Deep right center field. That one's going to get down and off the wall. Can Ortiz score from first? Absolutely not. It's a two-out double for Sandberg. We're going to have runners on second and third with two away. Didi pops one in the right. A little bit under that curveball. That'll end the inning. There's a line drive and a base hit to left center field for Bichette. That's going to go all the way to the wall. Mantle fires in. It's a leadoff double for Bo Bichette to start off the top of the third. Yelich strikes out. The leadoff double is stranded. Newhauser is through three. We trailed 2-0. You know, Hal Newhauser actually isn't that bad of a hitter. I've hit a three-run home run with him before. See right there, one home run, four RBIs. But I hit a three-run shot with him a while back. There's a strike. Trying to improve on an 069 batting average. Newhauser rolls one to the right side. Walker lines one to shortstop for the second out. Biggio gets the bunt down. It's pushed at the first baseman. Race to the bag, and he's out. Boggs drives one in the right center field. That ball is going to get down for a hit and roll all the way to the wall. Mantle fires in. It's a one-out double for Boggs. And once again, Newhauser is going to have to work around an extra base hit. Kingman rolls one fair over third and down the left field line. He's going to hold the... Now the runner's going home. I don't know what I'm doing. I throw away the out at second and let the runner score. Neither one of us know what we're doing, but my opponent benefits from it. It's a 3-0 game. Williams down on strikes. Ray is trying to bunt, and he's down on strikes. Mantle grounds one through the left side for a base hit. We're going to have the leadoff man on here to start off the bottom of the fourth. Got to get something going down 3 nothing. There he goes. It's a pitch out. And I just wasted my leadoff single. Not a smart idea. Down by three early in the game. Ortiz rolls one to the right side, and that's exactly why I sent Mantle. 
I hate grinding into double plays, so I'd rather send the runner and try for a stolen base instead of rolling one over for two. But either way, it's the same result. Didi can't get it. It's a leadoff single to start off the fifth as Bichette is now two for two. Need a double play ball. That's not going to be a double play, but it is going to be the first out of the fifth as Bichette moves up to second. You're going to tell me that wasn't a swing? Somehow Joe Torre draws a wall. I'm looking at this replay. Yeah, no swing. Thanks, Blue. 3-2 pitch. DJ strikes out on a curveball, and the inning ends. Still down by a three. Reggie lines one in the right center field. That's a base hit all the way to the wall, and Reggie is going to have a leadoff double to start off the bottom of the fifth. Sandberg hits one high in the air to right. That's going to be the first out of the inning, but it is a productive one as Reggie moves up to third. So with one out, Didi's going to have a shot to drive in our first run of the game. And Didi pops it up. Oh my god! Golden opportunity to get on the board. Wasted. Now it'll take a base hit. Strike three. Another wasted opportunity. Thankfully, my controller didn't break. 2-2 to Williams. Strike three. Paint to the outside corner, and the inning's over. Walker lines one in the right field for a base hit. There's his first hit as a member of the wheels. It's a leadoff single to start off the bottom of the sixth. Hopefully, get a rally going. Biggio bloops one in the right. That's going to get down for a base hit. Walker's going to hold that second. Back-to-back -back singles to start off the sixth. And Mickey Mantle steps in as the tying run. And Mantle pops one up to the catcher. <sighs> one down, bottom of the sixth. Ortiz grounds one in the right field for a base hit. Rounding third to score is Walker. On to third goes Bichette. Actually, Biggio. It's an RBI single for Ortiz, and it's a 3-1 game. Sheffield drills one. Deep center field. No doubt about this one. A go-ahead three-run bomb for Gary Sheffield, and we take the lead. I'll be nice. I won't watch the replay, but wow. Four runs in the bottom of the sixth, and the lead is ours. Reggie, no doubt about it. Reggie Jackson with the shot into the bullpen in right. Back-to-back -back home runs, and it's a 5-3 lead. Strike three to Didi ends the inning, but not before five runs come across the plate in a big inning for the wheels. 3-2 to Stanton. Check swing and ball four. So Stanton, back from 0-2, works a walk to lead off the top of the seventh. And Bo Bichette steps up to the plate as the tying run. 3-2 and two pitch to Bo Bichette. Lines one to right. Right at Larry Walker for the first out in the top of the seventh. So definitely going to leave Doolittle in for this at bat. And he lines one to Gregorius. End of the inning. McCovey hits one high in the air to left. Back on the track. At the wall. It's gone. Willie McCovey with the solo shot the other way. And we double the lead at 6-3. Walker strikes out on a fastball right down the middle. Mantle rips one down the right field line. It's a base hit. Rolling into the corner. Rounding first. Going to second is Mantle. It's a two-out double. And the seventh inning continues. Ortiz bloops one into shallow center. On comes Yelich. He's there to make the play. 3-2 to Yelich. Got him on the curveball. Bugs strikes out. 10 to 1, 2, 3, 8 for Billy Wagner. Sheffield drills one to left. It's a base hit. 
That's back-to-back -back perfect perfects for Gary Sheffield. A home run and a single. Didi, deep to right. It's gone. Didi Gregorius makes Wheels fans euphorious. A two-run shot to right, and we extend the lead to 8-3. That might be it for this one. And there it is, the rage quit forced by Gregorius. 8-3 is your final. A win for the wheels in Larry Walker's debut. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, maybe for another video idea. Tell me what you want to see. Thanks for watching, everybody.